Hello guys, welcome back to the Civil Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. Today our topic is about the stress and the strain. So today our very really basic lecture for the civil engineering students. So now what is stress and what is strain? The stress can be defined as the stress can be defined as it is the ratio of the applied force the dividing by the per unit area of the object. So this is the definition of the stress between the force x on a body and dividing this force by the area of this object we get how much stress is acting on this object for example if i consider this is an object in a rectangular object so when the force is acting on this object in the outward direction is the tensile forces tensile forces t in outward direction and this is the area of the object, a rectangular, so it may have section, so this area, let's consider the area of this object, is B into D, width and depth of this section. So the force which creates some tension in this object, so we divide the force, tension, stress will be equal to the tension, this is the force, this is the force available to produce some tension in this object. Dividing this force by the unit area, which is the B into D in this case, so we get the required stress acting on this object. If normally in daily life we say, we say that uh, uh, some stress, we are in stress, the students are in stress. So this is the same stress, but it is the technical definition of the stress that when the, some force is acting on the, some object, so we call this the stress of object. Now, to, to coming to the definition of the strain, the strain can be defined as the change in length to the original length, the change in length to the original length of the object. This ratio is known as the strain. If I consider this is an object, it has been fixed at one end and it is uh, flexible at the other end and let's suppose the load T is acting tensile force, so it has been displaced up to this point, displaced so this is the change in length now while this is the original length of the object of this object so this ratio uh, dividing the change in length dividing by the original length so we get the how much strain coming in the object so these were the two main uh, terms stress and strain uh, the, so i upload this video for the uh, fresh civil engineering students and don't forget to the uh, subscribe our channel for more civil engineering videos and don't and thank you for watching our video